We're down at Manfredo's gym. Uh, Peter Manfredo's getting ready for really his last great chance against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., who's the WBC middleweight champion. Uh, sort of an opportunity that came along that he didn't really expect. He's mostly fought at 168 pounds, so he's got to get down to 160, which is what he's doing, working here every day. Uh, but he believes, you know, not only is it his last chance, it's his best chance, best chance to become a world champion. Uh, it'll be a big fight November 19th down in Houston. Jab, jab. Jab, slip my jab right left. Good, not slip the other side. Peter Manfredo Jr., world title contender, soon to be WBC middleweight world champion. A lifelong dream, ready to come. Freddie Roach called me. I was in school in July. He didn't know what was going on with boxing. I said, hey, if either I'm going to fight for a big fight, I'm not going to do it anymore. So um, I was going to EMT school in East Providence. Freddie Roach called me that night. I got out of the classroom. I said, hey, what's up, Freddie? How you doing? I said, congratulations on the Chavez win. I said, boy, would I love to fight him. And he goes, yo, really? That's why I'm calling you. We'd love to fight you, too. I know different from everybody else, you know what I mean? I'll clean your ashtrays. I don't care. Yeah. Hey, you win this one, Ron. Sergio Martinez will pay off my house. I'll be all set. Yes, you win. That's the plan. You win this one, you're a pretty good shape. That's it? He's been fighting since he was five years old. So, I mean, if he's not going to fight for the big money, then why should he fight? Why should he fight anymore? I mean, he's made a couple of million dollars. He's made more than a lot of kids around here. He's got his name. People know him. You know, he's won, uh, he won a, uh, an IBO World Championship. You know, if he wins this, it'll be a WBC World Championship. Then he'll get a real big money fight. Then he'll fight that, and that'll be it. I got three beautiful kids. I got two girls and a boy, nine, six, and four. And they're raised well, thanks to my wife. And, uh, you know, I do what I do for them. And hopefully, like I said, I win this fight and all my dreams will come true. I can pay off my house. I'll put a pool in for my kids, like I promised. And uh, that's it. It'll be a, a happy ending to a, a great story.